Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. All right, we're in verse 14, Isaiah chapter 41. Go ahead and turn, flip, swipe, whatever it uh, takes to get you to get you there. You might be driving today, and so you can't do that, and that's all right. I'm going to read the Scripture anyhow to us. Verse 14, really blessed to have this moment with you in God's Word. I'm going to lift up our time and um, in prayer, and then we're going to read and meditate and apply to our lives. Father, we bless your name today. Thank you, God, that you speak to us through your word, and you have to millions through thousands of years. And from generation to generation, you're the unchanging God. And we thank you that regardless of the position or situation that we might be in, God, you can take us just as you are. And you do do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, verse 14 says, Fear not, you worm Jacob, you men of Israel. That's so funny. If you were with us yesterday um, on our devotional, obviously we're talking about just the how sweet uh, belonging to God and the work of God in Israel was. And now, you know, it's not that that changes, but, but he's just reminding them of their humanity. He's not being derogatory is what I'm trying to say to you today. Normally, if you call somebody a worm, um, it's a derogatory... Uh, statement, but he's just reminding them of their humanity and where they've come from, right? Fear not, you worm Jacob, you men of Israel. I am the one who helps you, declares the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I am the one who helps you, declares the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. And so um, he does. He says the strong term, right? You worm Jacob. And um, and it is a reminder, right? Two things today it's a reminder of. Number one, it's a reminder of their humanity. It's a reminder of their humanity. And, and in that, and this is kind of counterculture, post-enlightenment thinking, um, but, you know, we have a very high view of humanity. And, of course, you can make the argument, and rightfully so, we're fearfully and wonderfully made. We're highly complex creatures. We're made in the image of God. It's something to behold. That's true. But, you know, there is the reality, too, that, that we are, we're just, we're, we're dust, we're, we're, we're human, we're basic, you know, we have basic instincts, we're, we're sinners, we struggle, you know, we, we are the, our biggest problem is ourselves, right? There's just this, re, this reality that you get to this irreducible level that we're just stuff that struggles. We're stuff that struggles. And he reminds them of their humanity in using this terminology. And then he also reminds them of their helplessness, right? What is what is a worm? A worm is totally helpless. There, there's, there are no arms. There are no legs, you know. There, there's no capacity to, to extricate itself from a difficult environment. All it can do is wriggle as hard as it can and you know, it just gets crushed underfoot, is a completely helpless creature. And, and God is saying, hey, you know what? Don't forget your humanity and don't forget your helplessness. You are altogether helpless, but you don't have to fear because I am the one who helps you, declares the Lord. And then he says, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. And so in your condition, right, in your helpless condition, and I can't wait for tomorrow, tomorrow's devotional. In your helpless condition, I'm the one who's able to redeem you. That word redeem means to purchase back. In the New Testament, lutrosis or apolutrosis is the Greek word. And, and the picture is of a, a slave in the marketplace, in the place where the slaves were sold. And, and the slave standing on the block and chained, owned by a master. And then someone paying the, the price for the ransom, for the deliverance, you know, to redeem that, that slave out of the ownership of one person and into the ownership of another. And it's, you know, obviously all of that is wrong. And that's not the point. The point is that God has redeemed us. We were enslaved to sin. We were under the prince of the power of the air. We were in, in all together. We were in an all together other kingdom, and we were helpless, total inability to extricate ourselves, captivated by our humanity, our basic instincts and basic desires, and, 
And no way, right? No way to solve that situation or problem. No way to wriggle uh, ourselves out of that dilemma or situation. And so what, is, what does God say? Well, God says to Israel then, in your helplessness and humanity, I'm the one. I'm the one who's gonna come along and, and redeem you. I'm gonna, by my own strength, I'm gonna redeem you, I'm gonna buy you out of, I'm gonna work you out of this situation. You can't do it on your own, but I can do it. And then, of course, we know um, in the New Testament sense for, for those of us who've believed in Jesus Christ, this is exactly what he's done. He is the one who has helped us in our helplessness. He is the one that's given us hope. He's the one who's rescued us out of our, our own humanity, out of uh, the situation where we were our own worst enemy. He is the one who's redeemed us, and he redeemed us by his own precious blood. Like, this is what Peter says. You know, Peter goes into this beautiful expression of how we've been born again and unto a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And, and he says, we've been redeemed not with silver and gold according to the aimless traditions of the forefathers of Israel, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The cost, right? The cost for our redemption, for, for buying us out of our own sin was the sacrifice of the Son. And just want to encourage you today, we'll talk more about this tomorrow, let that kind of just settle into your heart. You know, he's the one who's done the work. He's helped you in your helplessness. He's, he's rescued you in, in the worst of your humanity. And ultimately, that's because he loves you so much. Have a good day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.